back to my channel. I wanted to do a quick, I'm hopefully gonna stick to a quick in interview. <laughs> <laughs> Intro. This is how long it's been since I've been actually doing a video. By the way, I forgot to say something that you're always going to see me in black because that's what a makeup artist is supposed to wear, black all the time. And every time I take a selfie, it's like I always wear black. Like it's, I know you guys want to be like, what is it? What's going on with you? Today's video is going to be showing you my go-to makeup look that I do when I go out. When I'm like, I don't know what should I do. Like, I feel like this is, I don't know. I just like it. What can I say? <laughs> I don't know. I love it so much because I have been loving, loving, loving the ABH Renaissance palette ever since I got it over the summertime. It's all nasty and dirty and it has like, you know. You know guys how it looks, you probably have seen so many videos or so many tutorials showing this but as you can see I showed a lot of love to this palette. For those of you that didn't probably watch my last video, I will put a picture somewhere here. I haven't done videos obviously as, <laughs> as consistently as I should. I know this may sound like it's not an excuse but I have a nighttime job and speaking of that, I am working at Kiko. I want to do a haul very soon because I got stuff from Sephora for the BAB sale along with the holiday collection from Kiko Milano. Yeah, I'm very excited to do a makeup look for this. I'm excited to do a makeup look using these new products and along other things that I have purchased lately. I want to thank you guys again for sticking out with me. There's so many of you that you're like, oh, I missed you. It was nice seeing you again. And I'm like, I know, I'm so sorry, but <laughs> I'm trying to do my best here. This video may be a little bit longer than it's supposed to be, but like, I really wanted to make this intro so I can talk to you guys and you guys can see where I'm at. I did go to Bolivia last month. I did a blog on that. I've been also been meaning to put it all together yeah i want to share that with you because it's been that was more of a like emotional very emotional trip for me i had to do with like some of my relatives that are no longer with us anymore that'll be in the upcoming few weeks and i'm hoping to upload it and share it with you guys if you guys like and enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on my social media it's all under beauty by mariela snapchat twitter facebook and my instagram without further ado if you guys want to see how i came up with this look and then keep on watching my brows i'm using my l'oreal brow stylist definer in the shade brunette i'm using the spoolie just to brush them a little bit more then i'm using my nyx brow gel and it's also in the shade brunette i'm using an angle brush and i love how this looks i'm like yes to one side no to the other side we need to make them at least as close as we can um but if you mess up ever you don't worry all you have to do is just add a little concealer which i did later on Speaking of concealer, I am using my LA Girl Concealer. This is in the shade of Warm Honey. I like this because it's the closest to my skin tone. As you can see, I'm just carving them out because I want them to be as sharp as possible, especially on the outer part of my um, brow. And then I like to blend that with my fingers. And then I'm like, mm, mama is happy. I'm looking down just to make sure they look fine. Now moving on to the face, first I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer and I applied that all over, I know I got some boo boos there. Then I'm going to go ahead and use a second primer. This one is called Dr. Brent's Pores No More because I have a lot of large pores. If you have oily skin, you know the struggle. And last but not least, I am using the third <laughs> primer. I know it's too many damn primers, but yes, <laughs> I'm using my Becca Matte Primer because I have super, super oily skin. And I want to go out, I want to make sure that I'm as matte as possible. Mm -hmm. Back to the eyes, I'm going to use my NYX eyeshadow base. You guys are probably sick and tired of me using it, but I just love it. It's a neutral shade, so I'm applying it with the eyeshadow um, brush, and I'm just going to blend out the edges with my fingers. Now moving on to concealer, I am using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I think this is in the shade Deep. The reason why I'm choosing this is because the inner corner of my eye, it's pretty dark. So I like to make sure that I cover it. And I'm using this Morphe M428 just to blend out the concealer and make sure I put that all over my inner corner of the eye. To set the next eyeshadow base, I'm using this Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Foundation. And this is in the shade Rich Tint with a fluffy blending brush. Now we're going to move on to my current lover. This is the AVH Renaissance Palette and I'm going to use Tempera which is this like gold champagne color which I'm going to use it on my brow bone and make sure they are even more defined. 
Now we're going to move on to the crease and I'm using this matte warm brown eyeshadow that is called Raw Sienna. Love this. Um, okay. <laughs> then I'm using, I'm pretty sure I'm actually, I'm using my Coastal Sense uh, Fluffy Blending Brush. I don't know the number of it, but in the name, but I will leave it down below. You guys can see that this soccer defines a crease like no one's business. Now we're going to move on to another matte warm brown eyeshadow that is called Burnt Orange and I'm going to apply this on my crease just to deepen out a little bit more and I'm using the same Coastal Sense Fluffy Blending Brush. Oh my lord, I love this. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it so much. Now we're going to move on to the outer part of my eye. I use a real jar, which is more of an orange shade, and then cypress umber, which is a dark matte brown eyeshadow. And I'm mixing both of them, and I'm really applying and making sure that I put it right on the outer corner of my eye. And I blend it with my crease a little bit, and I'm also blending it towards the inner part of my lid, as you can see. Now we're moving on to the lid and I'm using this matte eyeshadow that is called Golden Ogre. I'm applying it with a flat shadow brush. As I get closer to the outer corner, I'm trying to make sure that I blend out those two shades and they come nice and seamless. To add a little shimmer on the lid, I'm going to apply it on top of the previous uh, eyeshadow. This one is called Primavera. I like it because it's a enough shimmer on your lid. Now, I didn't do this on my intro because I recorded this video two months ago, but you're more than welcome to change it. Now moving on to the lashes, I have to curl my lashes because my lashes are so damn straight. <laughs> and then I'm going to add my Maybelline Colossal Chaotic Mascara. But don't you worry, we're going to add lashes later on on this video. Now we can move on to the foundation. I am using, when it comes to that, I want to make sure when I take photos that it's going to look flawless. Um, I am using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD uh, foundation. This is in the number 445. I'm applying it with my Morphe M427. I like the stippling brushes because it gets down and dirty. Not dirty at all. <laughs> it does go into my pores because I want to make sure it looks flawless. However, I had recent breakouts and they were really dark. So I'm going to make sure that I uh, add another foundation which you will see in a few seconds to cover and correct those acne scars i'm using my makeup forever ultra hd stick foundation in the number 445 and then i like to use a concealer and a brush of course and then blend out the edges with my beauty blender for concealer i'm using my nars creamy concealer in the shade ginger i'm using this upside down triangle on the under eyes because we need to cover those suckers and brighten it a little bit just to highlight obviously you guys know what the deal down the bridge of my nose in between my brows on the other corners of my mouth uh, right on my chin because i got a little dark and I am using the same concealer brush that I used before which was my Morphe M427 I feel like this is like a cousin or something related to my Morphe M427 which is that stippling brush that I use for my foundation and sometimes I use that in the beginning and then I end up using my fingers my ring finger just to blend out the edges I like to go back with that stippling foundation brush because I want to make sure that I blend out uh, my concealer and my foundation right in between because I want to make sure it's all nice and seamless. To set my under eye, I'm using a peachy shade. This one is called Lucid from my Kat Von D shadow palette. And then I'm using a lighter shade, which is called Lyric. It's more of a banana yellow shade. I like to use this right by the highest part of my cheekbone just to make sure it's really highlighted. To set the rest of my foundation, I'm using my Maybelline Bitter Skin Face Powder Foundation in the shade Rich Tan with this Big Real Techniques Face Brush. Laughing at myself because I keep on saying Kat Von D Shadow Palette and it's called Shade and Light Mariela. Hello, get it together. I use this shade that is called Shadow Plate to contour my nose. I use a fluffy blending brush and then I went ahead and I used this Morphe M164. I like it because it's a small uh, contour uh, brush for the nose and that's how I'm using it. To warm on my face, I am using my Too Faced Matte Bronzer. This one is called Dark Chocolate or Chocolate. <laughs> and I'm using with my Kat Van D Dual Brush, the contour brush. Now to add a little bit more warmth on my face and I went ahead and used my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This one is called Sun Power. I am using or I'm applying it with my Wet n Wild Angle Brush. 
Let's not forget that lower lash line. We're gonna go ahead and use the same crease eyeshadow that I used, and this one is called Burnt Orange, and I'm applying it with a pencil brush. It's a dual brush that came with this palette, which I actually really, really like. And then I went ahead and I used Real Gel, uh, which is more of an orange shade, and I'm gonna make sure that also connecting it with my outer corner, as well as going with the dark brown eyeshadow that is called um, Cypress Umber, and I'm using a flat shadow brush to get as close as I can on my lashes the last touch for the lower lashes of course is to add a mascara I'm going back with my Maybelline chaotic colossal colossal chaotic mascara now it's time to bake and to sweeten out this face I'm using my RCMA uh, loose powder and I'm yeah it's just time to bake honey because I do this especially because I want to make sure there's gonna be a long lasting makeup it's gonna look flawless and because I have oily skin and this kind of helps me out and it's also time to look like Santa Claus with this white beard yes <laughs> Going back again with my ABH palette, I'm using Vermeer, which is more of a pinky shimmer shade to brighten out the inner corners of my eye. For blush, I am using this luminous blush that is from the Becca Jacqueline Hale Champagne Collection palette, and this is called Rose Spritz. And the last touch when it comes to the eyes, this takes it to another level. Oh my god, I love my Lily Lashes. This is called Miami. I don't know what it is. I bought this on Black Friday last year and I think I'm going to do the same thing this year because they're just worth it. I've used it so many times and I definitely recommend it to you guys. Now moving on to lips, I'm going to show you what I've been loving lately. First, I'm going to start with my Kiko Milano lip liner, which is the precision one. And then I'm like, mm -mm, I forgot something. I'm going to use Pop Champagne and the Prosecco Champagne on my Cupid's bow, And then I'm going to go ahead and continue to line my lips. Unfortunately, this lip liner, the precision one, is no longer available. I know it sucks, but there's plenty of Kiko Milano lip liner that are retractable and you can on the other one so you can just sharpen it and they're very creamy and i recommend you guys to stop by the store and check them out the first liquid lipstick that i'm going to be using is from kat van d and this one is called double take this color is everything and more yes i'm just gonna let it dry a little bit next we're gonna dust off all that rcma loose powder with the stippling brush and just shake 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 it off to add a little bit more dimension, I apply on the center of my lip Gerald Cosmetic Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick and it's called Aphrodite. And last but not least, we cannot forget to add more highlight on the face. I'm using the Becca Jacqueline Hale Champagne Collection Palette. I'm using Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. It's done, now it's time to get rid of those hair clips, shake off my hair. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next time, I will see you on my next video. Besitos. Bye.